Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing how I meal prepped these salads for the week so that they'll stay fresh for a super long time. I made taco salads with walnut pea protein chorizo and a creamy chipotle dressing and they came out so delicious so I can't wait to share the recipe with you. And I'll also show you how I prepped some of my other veggies this week so that they'll last a super long time and stay fresh for the whole week. If you're new to this channel, I do meal prep videos and other healthy recipe videos, so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like that type of content, and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up to support my channel. And let's just get right into the video. I've shared this in almost every meal prep video I've done, but I love this fruit and vegetable wash since most of my produce is coming right from the farm, from the farmer's market, it can be really dirty and have so much hidden dirt in it. So I feel like this cleans it really well, but feel free to use white vinegar if you don't want to use this. And this is what I mean, it can be really dirty. It's literally covered in dirt. For my strawberries, I want to be really gentle with these so that they don't bruise and so they last as long as possible. And for my tomatoes, I'm just going to gently rinse them off because I don't want them to break. And then I just set everything out on this towel to dry off. I want my strawberries to be really dry. Also the peppers and tomatoes, since I'm gonna put them in a salad, I want them to be really dry so that they will stay fresh longer. If they're wet, then it's not gonna last as long. Next, I'm shredding up some cabbage. Cabbage and kale are really great for meal prep salads because they're so sturdy that they last a really long time without getting wilted. And I also like to use green onions in my meal prep salads instead of regular onions because I think they last longer. Bell peppers also will last a pretty long time and I love these sweet mini peppers because they are extra sweet. And next it's time to assemble our salads. These extra large glass containers are perfect for meal prep because you can really fit a ton of food in there. And I like to use glass because I think it keeps the food fresher for longer. The key here for these meal prep salads is you want everything to be as dry as possible. And as long as everything is fresh and it's dry, it should last at least five days. If you're not planning on eating these within like two or three days, I wouldn't add the beans in with it because I feel like beans can spoil a little bit quicker. So just add those in when you go to serve the salad instead of prepping it with everything else. Next, I'm gonna make a walnut pea protein chorizo to go on top of my salads. So first I'm adding about three fourths of a cup of walnuts to my food processor, along with about a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. I picked up this taco seasoning at Pavilions and I was really excited to try it because it says it's low sodium. Hint of sea salt. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. You can add some more salt you want since that's salt free. And the other thing I'm gonna add in is these soaked meatless crumbles. 
These are made out of pea protein. So this will be my protein source for the meal. I found these at Sprouts, so if you don't have a Sprouts in your area, um, they have the exact same thing, but a different brand available on Amazon. So I'll link that down below, but that one is like three times the price. And I'm just gonna let these soak for a little bit to rehydrate them. So I microwaved my pea crumbles for a couple minutes and then I drained out the water. I'm gonna add these in and just mix it all together. I'm gonna add some more taco seasoning. To make it more like chorizo-y, I'm gonna add a little bit of fennel and just a little bit of cayenne to give it a little bit of spice. Okay, next I'm throwing together a super quick and easy cherry tomato corn salsa. And I'm using cherry tomatoes so that it'll last longer. And I'm gonna just store this on the side instead of putting it on my salad since it has more moisture in it, it might make my salad mushy. These tomatoes are so big. These cherry tomatoes are so sweet. They have so much flavor. I had some jalapeno in the fridge, so I figured I would add that in too. And the last thing I'm gonna do is add on our chorizo. Just for some color, I'm gonna add some corn to each one. Frozen corn. Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. Next I'm making a creamy spicy chipotle dressing. So I'm using 3 fourths cup of cashews and a quarter cup of hemp seeds and I just like to soak my nuts and seeds before I use them in some boiling water. After about 10 minutes I drained out the water and I'm just adding them to my blender along with some garlic and a bunch of Cholula hot sauce. And I also some added in a tablespoon of white vinegar. One cup of water. And this is one of the most simplest dressings I like to make. You can use whatever hot sauce you like, and it is super quick and easy to make. Okay, I couldn't decide between two recipes I wanted to make, so I also made a jalapeno lime vinaigrette dressing, and this came out so delicious. I used about a quarter cup of pickled jalapenos, the juice of a lime, one cup of cashews and a cup of water. And you can also add in a date to give it some sweetness, but this came out so delicious. I will definitely be making this more often. And if I'm eating this salad for dinner at home, I like to actually make it a chopped salad. So I just dump everything into a huge stainless steel bowl like this and one. And use this circular chopper. And it makes such a delicious chopped salad and everything gets all mixed together and it comes out so good. Next, I'm prepping the rest of my produce for this week. So I've been loving making these carrot sticks. I put them in this glass jar. These are called Weck jars. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of these bell peppers. These make such a good like dipping device because of the shape that they are. So I'm just putting those in my glass containers as well. And then when I prep strawberries, you want to make sure that they're really, really dry so that they don't get mushy. I 
I ran out of paper towels, but this would be a great time to put some paper towels down at the bottom. I just don't have any. And when storing strawberries, it's actually best if you have a container with really good airflow. So I like to just crack the lid open when I have these in my fridge. So this is everything I made for this week's meal prep. I have my prepped salads. They look so beautiful and delicious. I can't wait to eat those. And then I have all my veggie cups, my strawberry cups, my corn salsa dressing, and more strawberries. These salads came out so delicious. This is definitely one of my favorite salads I've made. And especially with the dressings, it just made them so good. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know if you try out my salad recipe. This one came out so good. I just had one for dinner. It was delicious. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.